This video is about the number one mistake buyers make when buying a home here in Cedar Park, Texas. Hey, uh, if this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living here, working here, playing here, you've come uh, to the right place. But before you leave, be sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you're notified uh, whenever a new video is posted every week. You know, I literally get calls and texts and emails every single day from people that are moving here or relocating here, and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking at all about uh, moving or relocating here in Cedar Park, Texas, North Austin, Leander, Liberty Hill, uh, Round Rock, Pflugerville, Georgetown, uh, you've come to the right place. But uh, today I wanna share with you uh, the number one mistake that buyers are making right now. So uh, as you can see, there is snow and ice uh, behind me. This is what we are calling Snowmageddon here in Austin, Texas, because we are having the worst uh, snow and ice storm, the worst winter storm uh, that we've had in probably a uh, hundred years or more. And this is day six of this storm. Finally, tomorrow, it looked like it's gonna get uh, above freezing, but we've actually been down to uh, as low as three degrees, which, I mean, this doesn't really feel like, uh, like Texas uh, anymore, but at least it's, uh, it's short-lived. I've been without water for a few days. A lot of people I know have been without power. So this is uh, an, an unusual event for us. You might see a few of the snow flurries right now that are falling around me as I make this video. But what I really wanted to share with you was the number one mistake that buyers are making in today's market and that is not getting a proper pre-qualification for their mortgage uh, before they even go out looking at homes and shopping for homes so you know it's confusing uh, pre-qualified pre-approved certified i mean these words are thrown around and a lot of times even lenders have different meaning uh, to these uh, to these terms but i'm going to share with you that when i'm working with a buyer I want that buyer to, uh, uh, to obtain what is called a conditional qualification letter that has actually been approved by the state of Texas. So uh, when a buyer is getting pre-qualified by a lender, there are two ways to do that. One is just verbally, wh where you tell the lender what your income is, uh, you tell the lender what your debts are, you tell the lender what you think your credit score is, and based upon the information that you have provided verbally, or you might have done this online by just filling in a form, uh, then that lender is going to provide you with a pre-qualification letter. And I will say to you, please, please don't do that. That qualification uh, letter is not worth the paper uh, that it's written on. But what you want to do is you want to make a signed application to a lender doesn't mean that you necessarily are committed to working with that lender to get your mortgage but you've made a signed application to the lender you have provided documentation of your income so for example it might be a w-2 statements or uh, the last two years tax returns you, you have also allowed the lender to do a mortgage credit pull and this is uh, obtaining your credit report from the three different reporting agencies so that they can see what your what your credit score is. Uh, and then by doing this in writing, the lender is able to provide for you a conditional qualification letter that is just about as strong as being completely pre-approved. And this is what I ask my buyers to do. There's nothing more frustrating than to think that you qualify and to go out and start looking at homes, get all excited about a home and want to write a contract on it and then find that the listing agent won't even accept your offer because you don't have a proper qualification letter. Or worse yet, you actually uh, perhaps get a home under contract and then sadly find out that you can't purchase that home and you've been wasting your time. You've been looking at the wrong properties, perhaps too expensive properties, uh, and can't buy in the price range that you want. So when you're properly qualified, you'll know exactly what your purchasing power is, and you'll have the strength of having that letter in hand 
uh, so that your offer will be entertained. And especially right now here in the Austin area where we have multiple offers on almost every listing. I mean, if you haven't been properly qualified, there's no way that you're gonna get that home under contract. So please, don't, mistake, don't make the, the number one mistake that buyers are making. So hey, it's getting cold out here. Uh, it's about 25 degrees right now. At least that's warmer than the three degrees uh, we had two days ago. So remember, if you're thinking uh, about uh, Cedar Park, Texas, Austin, Texas, be sure before you leave my channel, subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified of a new video that goes up every week. And if you're at all thinking about moving or relocating here to Cedar Park, Leander, Liberty Hill, Austin, Pflugerville, uh, Round Rock, Georgetown. Uh, this is the, the place that you want to be. And remember, I've got your back. So you're seeing some other videos from my channel pop up right now. So explore the area, click on those videos. And if there's any way that I can help you, you've got to do one thing. Look down in the description below and you'll see how that you can contact me either by email or by text message or by phone call. And remember, I've got your back. I'm happy to help. Thanks.